Hey there. Lacy face here. Uh, actually, Pennywise face here. I kind of planned this video spontaneously and yeah, this is what happened. I saw the movie last week. It was amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> that the movie had me jumping all over the theater. I it was pretty impressive. I was actually going to do a Pennywise pumpkin painting video, but <laughs> That didn't turn out quite as expected, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and just paint Pennywise digitally. So, <laughs> join me, if you will, as I create it. Yes. So I think that I'm going to draw Pennywise with a balloon kind of on the side, and maybe his monster form morphs like into the balloon, which would be kind of cool. And uh, just his regular painted face on the other side. So let's try that. I never tried my lacy face like this. This is a lacy face. Sad clown. Also, I'm not really scared of clowns so much. What I am afraid of, I can't stand dolls. I don't do dolls. Some of you might may have heard about that, but yeah. For your information, I hate dolls. Also, I'm listening to the IT soundtrack right now to kind of get myself in the mood. Anyways, let's continue. sketch turned out. I think I'm gonna roll with it. I just need to detail the um, the torso and the hand. And I have a really bad itch on my nose and I can't itch it. It's like, oh. We need to flip this thing and make sure that everything is correct because I did not flip it yet. And usually when you flip your artwork, if you've been working in one view for a very long time, it helps you kind of focus and change your perspective on the painting so that you can spot mistakes better. So it's a good strategy to use. If you do traditional work, just put it up to a mirror and look at the that way to check for mistakes. So just you know, kind of a cool tip, I guess. Let's flip this guy and see what's up. Oh yeah, just the balloon part we need to kind of fix a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little better this way because um, that way it's kind of like going to the curve of the balloon, kind of like a fish eye lens. See, the one before, is a little too straight. Now, with this, it's kind of going with the curve of the balloon, so I'll go ahead and do that.
that made me jump so bad. I knew I was gonna jump at some point with this music, but <laughs> I, yeah, I wasn't prepared. This music is terrifying. I feel like there's gonna be something behind me. Like, look behind me? No, I can't. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the color phase. And just do all the base colors, and then I'll do the shading and highlighting, and then some details afterwards. His left eye orange and his right eye green. It'll be really cool, but very subtle. So let's go ahead and spruce up his clothing a little bit and then add some details and it'll be good, I think. if you guys want me to do more uh, commentary based stuff. Um, I kind of enjoy it. I need to work on my professional speaking, I guess. I'm a very introvert person, as you can tell. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!